Hi there, my name is Corey Gaddy, Technical Solutions Consultant for TPM. For our 4-Minute Friday today, we're going to talk about scripting with Bluebeam Review. Scripting allows you to automate commonly used processes in review. Okay, so let's get into the software. Okay, so we're in Bluebeam Review 2019. Scripting is going to be found under the Document menu. So you click on Document, then go down to Script. You click on Script and that will open up the Script Manager. And then there are certain scripts that are already available for you in here. Flatten an email, export TIFF with header, print with draft stamp. So a couple of things available for you. If you want to make a new script, you click on the plus symbol. You could create custom script and import it here. Now it does require a little bit of coding. Bluebeam Review, however, does have some scripts available for you. Once you start typing here, and you'll start seeing some of those scripts that'll come open. You know, color process, columns export, columns import, delete file, email, the ability to flatten. So you'll click on the script that you want, and then you can add whatever detail you need to in the parentheses. If you want to just generally use the command, then you just do a close parentheses there. And then you can add another command if you wanted to do something additional, like flatten an email flatten and print, you know, some of those options. So you just type it in on the next line. And then your parentheses there. So you'll go ahead and give it a name, you know, something like flatten and print. You choose the icon that you want for it. Okay. And then you hit OK. You can run that script right now by clicking on Run. Or you can add it to the toolbar. Okay, you decide what toolbar you want to add it to. So there's our flatten and print. Okay, we want to add it to advanced there. We'll have advanced checked. And then we'll go ahead and hit the arrow here to get that over into the advanced toolbar. And then we'll hit OK. All right. And then we can go ahead and hit cancel now if we don't want to run it. Then that script shows up in the toolbar, and then we can click on that script and run that script. Well, that's what I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching.